Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh huh. So today we're going to talk about suits. I'm very thirsty. Oh, this is a very nice juice. That's why I'm drinking it from here. Anyway, let's start. We're talking about suits. And uh, so two suits and uh, a two piece. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video where I bought it. Alright? Right. So the first suit that we're going to talk about is this white powerful suit. And then as you can see, I'm very sure it can go in with, except the pink ones. Not for this one. I really think having two shouty colors at the same time is kind of ish ish. So I'll go with the white shoes for this one, and go with the red shoes, and I'll go with the nude shoes. But for the pictures that I, for the photo shoot, as you can see in the pictures, I did the nude shoes so that I could just tone it down a little bit. Because anyway, everything is open and all that. And then you can button it up so. If you button up the suit, then you could go to work with it. Obviously, this is obviously like a power, like a suit that you can go to work with. And then I just love the way that it's so like it forms the skinny shape at the bottom of it. So this is it. Yeah, and there it is. That's how it looks. And then you choose, and then pair back with a red bag, of course. So. This is our one look. And then um, we'll finish up with it. The next thing we can we can wear with this clothes will be basically also just checking out what are the options that we can wear the suits with because obviously not necessarily the suit but maybe just the pants or maybe the jacket. You can just wear it once and then you feel like it's fine. So we're going to try on this black top and see just how it works with it and obviously we know very well you can never go wrong with white and black right but remember that you need a black that has details to it like this top right here and you can see this um the what you call this again the lacy design it just brings it out and then the fact that i'm not wearing the straps because it has it has straps also makes it stand out and I think literally wearing it with the top on the outside makes it makes your body shape just come out nicely because it's as you can see the trouser has a belt so if I was to tuck this in then it look a bit awkward or a bit weird if you can see what I'm talking about you see so it's better if I wear this one up so you already have that's the second option with this top and then now we're going to mash it up a little bit and put on some African sauce into it and the next two tops, um, those ones were what? Still take where I got them from. The shoes, white shoes, came from legit um, for a very cheap price, just 230. I think so. Yes, 230 rand. And then um, the yeah, the, the this one and the pants and then the the white bra that you just saw in the previous video was from. I bought it Pale Kikomba, Pale Kenya when I went home recently it was like 70 kenya shillings that's 70 or 40 if i'm not wrong if it was 70 then that's seven rand if you're four it was 40 then that's five rand for it so look for nice things look for cheap things and put it up, up nicely so that you the way you dress it's cheap yes but you look expensive that's that's the kind of look we need to be going for right the next piece of clothing that is so stunning that would wear with those white pants is this very, very, very sexy looking crop top bralette uh, that I got from Amanda Fashions. I'm going to tag her in, like, put her details down there. Thank you so much for coming through for me, girl. You really helped me. And this is three years old. Like, I got it in 2016. Yeah. Yes. And until now, I'm still hiding it. I'm, I don't usually wear it because. Well, I haven't found things to wear with until now that I got this white piece of outfit. So, and also like I put it on with a red um, high-waisted long skirt as well. But that's it. That's how I'd also mash it up with this one. And obviously for this, I would go with the white shoes because you have a white part in the top and then the, the pants are white. Makes it look stunning. Very, very stunning. I'm really, really in love with this store because 
as you can see, it's an African touch, right? And the best thing is that it allows you to put on the jacket this time because it just makes it look, give it, gives it a new look, a new standing look. So I'll go with the white shoes or go with the red shoes simply because of the red in this. So um, those are the other op the options that I will wear with this. Or if you want, because it's hey, anyway, it's summer right now. It's too hot. The jacket has to sit aside. You go like that. So you, what you do is just accessorize it nicely. I'll put on um, not this bag, um, not this one, but I go with because it's like a yellowish. Not this one either. So we basically just trying to find a plan for this. But I'll go with uh, something white actually. I go with the white shoes or the red shoes. This white bag will still just end up working out. So this is how it looks with a white bag. If I'm going for like a young chilling session with friends and all that. Nothing serious, nothing too serious, right? This tiny look like red just has this thing to it, like it has that thing, it makes the pots to do the things, you know, so <laughs> this is how I wear it with the red, the red shoe and obviously with this red, so break down the white with colors in between and that's how it looks, thank you Amanda for this, also, for this nice top too that you made, this is, wow, this was in 2016, so this is another three years back of a top that is still there, it means the material is very, very, very proper, so make sure you have a saucy saucy kind of African outfit that you can put on with your modern outfit and you end up looking stunning or rather looking like a million dollar if you like it to have a striped top in your closet striped white and black this is like I always say you need to have a striped white and black shirt in your closet or rather just something striped so obviously depending on your body size someone like me would go with the stripes uh, vertically others would go with the the horizontal obviously to give you a certain shape of your body so with this obviously the way it is i wouldn't wear it like that i sort of like mash up the top make sure that i only button with these two buttons over here and not the whole of it and then more or less i'll uh, come up with different styles to wear the top so i'll wear it more like a crop top like this obviously at the back i'm going to um i'm going to find a way of hooking it up at the back so that it just forms you know those D DIYs you need to watch those because that's where you get how you can basically wear something in a very very sophisticated way so that's how it looks at the back and then this is how it looks at the front and then I'll put it on with the red shoes because I mean it speaks on its own already guys another piece of clothing that comes in very very handy when it comes to outfits say pencil type of uh, pants is a sweater but obviously you put on this during or for most of you guys in the fall season because it's likely cold this works for us in the summer season where it drains i would put on this so when i know the weather is not going to be so nice i'm going to carry this just on the side and probably have something on the inside that would work with the orange bag so you're more or less ready for it so this bag is from mr price the sweat is also from mr price bought on sale i don't waste the money i wait for things to go down the sweater was 80 bucks yes. this bag was 130 i'm not sure so yeah and then there you go so me it was the prize that's why i get to tell you where we bought it and the legend shoes just mashing up things buying from the shops that i'm very used to and i know I'll get quality stuff or other very nice looking stuff and put them together so that's the sweater look for it make sure you have a nice sweater and clothes that can go with it so you can go with the orange or go with the white so any wax any 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 wax if you have a nice pair of orange shoes i'd go with the orange for this one so white and then orange shoes and then this i just don't have orange shoes i'm sorry but this with the white and the, and the orange sweater um that's it for, for the, the options on this pants and the, and the sweater obviously and the, and the suit so it's one suit one in so many ways you might you use just tied it in so many different ways and everything works out right shoe guys can we talk about this peplum top right like 
the funny thing is that this is not even inspired, but because I made sure, I always make sure the whites that I'm buying are the same tone. So if I want to put on something else or something else, it just ends up working out. And then with the red shoes, I mean, this, this is not a killer outfit. So I'm going to put on the right pant for this, but it basically came in a two piece from where I bought it. Also, cheap price it was 185 for the two piece. The suit was 400 rand, 395 rand in total from where I bought it. Just stick with me, stick with me. I'm gonna give you the secrets of where we bought this through, buy these things, all right? And there we have it. That's the right pants for this. You know why I like this two piece? It's because of the the open bottom of it, like the hipster kind of look, the old hipster kind of look, and the fact that it's a three quarter. So it gives me leeway to play around with my outfit. So with this, if I wear this red shoes, I can maybe put on like a um a leg uh not bracelet. Like a leg um, accessory at the bottom, gold in color, and then just, you know, just have it like this. So if I can either go with the red bag, of course, now the only issue would be like it's a different kind of red. So make sure you find a red that blends in with the shoe, and then, or you can go in with the white shoes because the day I wore it, I wore it with the, the white shoes when I was going for my friend's birthday, as you can see in this picture on the side. Uh, so I'm a girl who loves African fashion. I'll put in this a uh, small bag as well. Just carry it, small purse like this, because it's it has that African print that goes in nicely. As much as it's all the same tone as the red, but it brings in the oomph, like it speaks to it. So get out outfits that speak to each other and speak to one another. All right. I mean, guys, that does not speak volume as well. Like. Look at how the two piece works together. Yes, yeah, they're not bought for this, the, the bought separately. So just make sure you put it on nicely. So I could also wear like a red jacket with this one. Unfortunately, I don't have a red jacket that is this height because if I was to put on a jacket with those three quarter pants, then it has to be a jacket that is this height as well. So it's like it's covering my butt, right? And then the front looks like this. Or um, if I was wearing the white, Brand it and I'll open it up and then just have the same look as the original as the one that we had in the first in the, in the suit, but with the three quarter pair of pen over the three quarter suit ah three quarter trouser yeah. So I have this top this croppy top uh that is uh this is chiffon right I just have the details of the bottom but because the pants is so high waisted I'm not really sure if I really wear it like this, I doubt I'll wear it like this. So what I'll do is just find a way to actually make my top look a bit sophisticated according to my standards, that is. So with the bra, I'm just going to tuck this top inside, like underneath my bra. And remember, you're wearing a strapless bra. So you want to see the small piece of tummy there, and then you want to see how it just holds on to your bra, your, your your upper breast part and then the, the details on this and the details on the top here gives it another new look so this is also one of the ways i'll wear this three quarter pants with with um i'll wear this three quarter pants and just because they're high waisted there's so many ways you can literally manipulate this pair of pants and come up with so many pieces of outfit we're going to talk about this very 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 nice looking high waisted red pill pants guys make sure you have a red in your closet so this red um i got it in canada for ten dollars ten canadian dollars i don't remember the name of the shop but i'll uh put it up down in the description as well um this was around february this year 28 2019 and i decided to just put it up to match match it up with this pink pair of shoe that i got for 150 as well and uh, there's just a certain look to it right like red and pink so there's red and pink there's red and um and orange so enough of seeing me without a top time to put on a top different tops so this one and show you the way i suited it up because it's just a red pair piece of pants that i bought separately from the uh, jacket the jacket was bought in kenya for palingara 
Pop stand up. Um, I think around 300k shillings. Yeah, so so I basically had this black strap top made, uh, I think a, like a few weeks ago, and I needed to wear it with those outfits here. And um, by the way, watch out for those videos as well, it's one of the most interesting ones, and you'll see how I got to do my makeup and that. Just a new tip, not a, not a tip, but something that would help you guys who have oily skin, right? So this is the jacket that I'm talking about. And then I'm just going to suit it up. And there you go. You literally have a suit from this look from, from two pieces of clothing. As my they're the same shade of red, it's slightly off, but it's more or less the same the same not shame when you the same same shade, same shade of color, alright? And then you can either leave it open, alright? That's if you want to like look funky and fancy but for the office i would uh literally button it up but wear this when it's when it's hot because when it's cold because seriously you can put on the the can literally zip up the jacket when it's so hot like right now it's i think it's like 35 degrees outside which is not really nice i'm dying in here so this is how it looks and then this is how it looks with the, the picture if i have a luminous looking uh First, then I'm coming a bit with this, but for now, I'm gonna stay away from it. So the next, uh, the next thing that we can wear it with for it to come out looking very, very stunning is the new shoes, guys. I'm gonna tell you this: if you don't have a new pair of shoes or clothes, make sure you have it because this thing goes in with anything, anything that you wanna wear. And. Uh, there you go. So with this one, at least now we can put in the red bag, right? The red bag. We can put it. We can either wear it closed or we can either we can wear it open, and everything still works out, right? So this is the suit. This is the first option. Let's see how the next option looks. The next top that we're going to wear it with. So I'm still basically sticking to this. I'm putting this in. Obviously, there's a bra also. Because God didn't bless us with the boobs, just saying. And then I'm going to put on this uh, top that I bought for, for, can't remember how much it was, but also bought in the same place where we bought the suits. So just wait until you're at the end of it. So this is how it looks with um, this type of, with the way it's matched up. So this is look number two. And this I would wear this to. Obviously because of the openness, I don't think I'll wear this to the office, this is, this is a lot. So maybe when I'm going for like a chilling session with friends or like a small dinner nyana, right? This is how you put it on. So there's this one and I think for this, I'll go with a black, black handbag or a black purse. Just because the red is all already out there. And the next thing I'll also put it on with is this red bag as well because of the nude that matches in with the with the, with the shoes so the, this red bag would also be an option for it or a black bag i'm just saying so that's look number two or rather number three for this high waisted top pant the next one is if you can remember the top that we had initially i'm also going to put it on so that i show you just how it looks with it yeah Again, just like we did for the white pair of pants, we'll also do the same thing for this. So we're not tacking it in because we really need the detail of the top to be seen. So there you go, the nude shoes or the stand or go with the red shoes because of the black. So it's, it's like body hogging. So for this, I put on the red shoes. So we're talking about red, red, like a full red at the bottom. And then we have the black on the top just to break it up a little bit and then we can go with a white bag so we it's a red white uh red white black affair or we put on a black purse yes so we'll find a black purse and it goes with a black purse so it's a red red and black affair i mean red red black black affair this is this is actually a very stunning piece of look like i mean yeah I mean, shut up, right? <laughs> the last one would be, no, the second last one would be this, um, 
shirt. So at least now we're going to have something for the office. Okay, from this one. And I just love the or the red in it. The red in this one. And then as usual, I like buttoning just two buttons because yo, the two buttons, and then we're going to tuck in, obviously. But obviously not red because yo, this is gonna be a lot of red. That so if I had a navy blue pair of shoe, then I'll go with the navy blue. But because I wanna break it down a little bit, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go with the nude pair of shoes. Again. Because there's a little bit of the nude in the in the top, if you can see. And there you go, that's how it looks. This is this one I would literally wear to the office. This is de definitely an office look. An office look that says, hey, you have money. Yet maybe you're the brokest human being in that office at that moment. So this is it for the red. Just the final, final piece of, 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 of the top that I can wear with the red one. And then I'll wait with the white shoes this time because the top is white. There was the white top. So guys, I love white. I don't lie to you. And I love open stuff. I love showing skin. Because I have nice skin, I think. Yeah. So with this, I designed this top. How many? This was 2016, also three years ago. So I just wanted an open piece over here. Obviously, since I don't have boobs anyway, but I just like showing them out. I like the V neck and then also just the full, full open back. Gave it a new, new very stunning look. And I wear those with the white shoes now instead of the new shoes. We'd go with the white shoes, red, and then put on this white hand button. Or maybe not the white one. Put on a black one. So it's black, white, and red. A fair. So that's it. So take, this is it for the red piece of outfit. Moving on to the last piece of outfit, and then the big secret is going to come up just now. Just now. Guys, I think you also agree that this is actually a very cool looking two piece. I love the bagginess of the trouser. I love the, the, the legs of the trouser, just how open it is. We bring back the old school, right? Those times when our daddies used to wear those, would make fun of them. But right now, we're the ones who bring it back. So, with this two piece, I loved it because of the, the bralette type of nature of the top. And then, just like I said before, the big pants and then the, just the buttons. The details to it because this allows me to accessorize with like gold and just how loose it is, you know. Like, even in the summer, because it's so hot, you have breathing space for every single part of your body. I'm just saying. So, with this, I'll go with this bag. This bag that I bought in Kenya just recently um, for 100 Kenya shillings, Pale, Pale Bar Station. Guys, don't sleep on those nice things if you're in Kenya, Pale Bar Station. 100 kg shillings that should be 7 by 7, 49, around 14, 49, 49, 50, 50, yes, around 14, right, because 14 by 7 is 98, there you go, like literally you've done the maths right here, so this is how I'd wear it, or if, if or navy blue shoes, or just the nude shoes, we're going to try on the nude shoes and see how, or rather which one looks better, so Need to be the one that takes you home. Yeah, and there you go. So with the brown and just the new shoes, I feel like these new shoes are a gold mine on a serious note. Like I told you, goes in perfectly with anything. So that's it for today. So there's this one. I'll also put it on with this red as well because you just want something to bring it out, to bring out the outfit that you're wearing. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. Obviously, I know it's because I told you guys to watch it to the end so that you can get the secret to wear for the clothes. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching it either way. To whatever point you watched it until. If you came back later to get, or rather if you forwarded to the last point of the video, still thank you. <laughs> So this is just to show, it. I'll give you a few tips before I tell you exactly where I bought the, the outfit from. So point number one, buy shoes that 
can always go with anything. Like you've seen through the video, we're talking about the nude shoe being like a gold mine. It goes in with anything. A white pair of shoe would also be very stunning. A red pair of shoe is also stunning because it, at least it goes with most of the stuff in your closet, right? And buy shoes that are comfortable. Do not buy shoes that will make you feel like you're about to die or something. No, 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 no. And then the next thing to do is make sure when you're buying, like you're trying to put a two things together so like for example my red piece of suit right the way that I put it together with the jacket right you make sure that um, you buy the same tone of color so it's red but it has to be the same shade or rather the same tone so that no one is able to see exactly the difference when you get to the point where you can afford to buy suits from Zara or rather you know those big big shops where you can buy the same piece of material standing materials then do that okay you, 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 you just treat yourself once in a while, but someone like me, um, I think of myself as a very economic person, economical person. I try and see what's the cheapest way I can get away with something, right? And then we talk about the white, the white suit. That one came as a pair, right? But you can put it together with another piece of outfit in the clothes. So like the three quarter pair of pants, the way I put it with the white jacket, and then also the white, the white peplum top from the three quarter jacket, the way I put it in with, I put it in with the white pants everything just work out so make sure you buy the same tone of colors in your closet so that's point number two right point number three buy cheap not cheap but buy expensive looking things right that your pocket your pocket pocket your pocket can afford right but you don't need to break yourself to look good buy things that your pocket can afford but you end up still looking very expensive and looking good i mean with that white piece of oh, that white suit i look expensive it's not like I have money. No, I don't have money. I don't have that much money. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So the big secret drum rolls. Do -do 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 where the clothes came from? Apart from the red suit, that one that is uh, literally bought from two different places. That's Canada and uh, Kenya. Ngara in, in Kenya, the red jacket, and then the pearl pants from the shop in Canada. The white, the white, the two whites plus the this whatever I'm wearing right now what came from the one and only Maraba that in Pretoria so go and shop there you guys you're sleeping in on that place that's one of the places you can places you can get whatever you want I left the house and the day I was going to look for the white pair of suit, the, the white outfit for my friend's birthday and I knew I'm going to find it there like I can never go wrong but then when I got there because Jane was looking for one thing I decided okay I found a suit right I was looking for a two-piece literally a two-piece cut and part and a skirt and a crop top or just a normal top then I landed myself onto the three quarter and the white suit and I don't like living in regrets so I took it the pink shoes also came from my rubber set the black top that I wore the black top with the lacy stuff also came from my rubber set the, the long sleeved jacket that I wore with the red pants came from my rubber set that was like 60 bucks 60, 60 rand that is American. 60 rand uh, times 7. That would be something like um, 60 by 7. No, 60 by 7. 42, 420 Kenya shillings. Alright? But, okay, Nangara, when you go there, Apungara, Apungara, I'm sure we have a bit too cheap. Uh, something that looks similar. So you can get something like that. I'm speaking, now I'm speaking to my Kenyan people, right? So African people have told you where the old man is. The Kenyan people, you can never go wrong in Gara, you can never go wrong in Ikoba. And just walk as well around. You you get very nice looking things at a very reasonable price. And the way you put it together just makes you stand out. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for continued support. Thank you guys for those who've already subscribed to my channel. We're heading towards 100 and 200 people. Thank you for the 180 of you so far. Please make sure you share this video. Make sure you leave a comment at the end. Make sure you like, thumbs up. Tell me what outfit worked. Tell me what you thought. Ah, Jane, there you went wrong, right? Or, okay, this one is a good idea. I never knew I could do this. Or rather, just having an eye for something. Just tell me what you think in this comment section. Like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time when you're talking about dresses. That's going to be a very interesting piece of. Um, <laughs> piece of video because I did it in Kigali, yeah. So you see a new, env a new environment, not the spark wall. And anyway, I'm talking too much. 
Please take care of yourself. See you next time and bye-bye. <laughs>